Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. And as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. He's over there wearing his sunglasses Hang on at a night. Second. You gotta wait for me. I You're do. You're going way too fast. I go at the me. same speed every week. I always do the whole hi. Um, I'm Cammy. <clears throat> Welcome to After Hours. This is Doctor. Hey, Normal. guess what? Got an idea. What? Maybe you should slow it down a bit. Maybe you should learn to move more quickly. I can't believe. Right I can't. I can't believe the kind of grief I'm getting right now. Are you getting grief? Okay. Look, it's okay, Stephen. We save Doc our bickering for the show. I feel hey, like buddy. a small child. Wait, this mic isn't on. We haven't introduced him yet. Going oh. too fast. Going oh. too fast. You're not allowed to talk fast. yet, Stephen. Right. Too fast. Going too Dr. Normal fast. hasn't turned on Stephen's microphone yet. Can we introduce Stephen? And this week no, he's scared on the show. Shh. <laughs> this week on the show, coming to you live right now. Are Hi, everybody at Whiffies. Are you doing introductions Whiffies. again? No. Well, I got nothing today, so maybe I should do the Oh, good. I'm proud of you. Get oh, back on that horse. No, I, no. then I'll throw to you. I'll change the camera, and then I'll throw to him. You got that? You got that? Hey, Whiffies. Sure. Hey, what's what's the pie tonight? Is hey, it everybody. lemon? I, I, I so what know. am I supposed to do while you're getting ready to throw okay. to Steven? Tonight we have a really special guest on this show. Hey, Whiffies. Sorry. I'm just waving. Hi. Food card. Did you know they're having a Whiffies get together to watch the stream? Hey, we haven't in- introduced him yet. Well, stop. Stop being a showboater and, and introduce the I guest. I throw to you and go, Cammy, who's on the show tonight? Tonight, we're joined by Stephen Slower. Walling. Slower. Tonight, we're joined by Stephen Walling. Wow, that was really enthusiastic. <laughs> I had like four intros for you. and You could tone you know, it down a little. Tonight, we're joined by Stephen Walling. That's better. Better to under deliver. No, we were excited I mean, to oh, have you under promise and we over deliver. We were excited to have you on the show. I recall a moment of epiphany. We're sitting there going, "God, who should we get on the show?" And then we both went, "Never had Stephen on the show." You've never had a black person. That was on me. The show. That, That's not true. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. No. That was interesting, Stephen. <laughs> I'm Wonder sorry. <laughs> the bickering caught me off guard, and now I'm all No, but that's frazzled. really not true. I no. know it's not true. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, I no. wonder when the There's... next time we'll have Steven <laughs> on Stranger of Life. Steven's a troublemaker. Hmm, perhaps never. He's young. He's got time. Oh, I remembered the shtick. I had my whole, like, Stranger of Life is like a wiki. You can... Oh, decide God, what we talked about. Stop. Yeah, no, it was better stop. earlier. Even wiki hey, don't these. really have good wiki jokes. Yeah, no, it's so. sad. It's sad. <clears throat> Dr. Normal, Vampire. did you did you but <laughs> wait, we no, do we have fixed questions. our color? Wait. Can we see Steven and I together? Look, now we're both really pale, but look, Steven's paler than me. You just, you can't really tell. You Well, it's because he adjusted the colors because yeah. he's nice. He tried to make it look like we're not the undead, but this mm-hmm. is really the undead episode yeah, but of Strange I'm, of Love. I'm, I'm all blue here so I because I forgot to turn the camera on earlier, so I'm blue. Uh, we had some... Oh, oh, content, content. We've got questions from the from the audience. We do. I'm, I'm going to read the first hue. one. I'll let you read the others. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I'm fixing... See, look. I'm, oh, now I have a nice tan. Uh, <laughs> now you're purple. Okay, so right. oh, um, and by the way, just to re- from to review, social media guru. 
No, we're not me. doing that this week. Yeah, we're not doing that either. Yeah. This sucks. I have questions um, <laughs> from I have questions from the Twitter people. Yes. I will read the first one. You will read okay. the other two. Is that fair? Or how about I do the first couple and then you do the five? You know what this reminds me of? No. It reminds me of our talk at Word Camp last week. I think week. you're scaring Stephen. <laughs> well, a little bit. He feels like he's in an unstable home environment right now. <laughs> <laughs> Better me than. You know. I made cookies today, Stephen. Would you like some cookies? No. Okay. I don't want any cookies. <laughs> who are you, Jim yeah. Cleaver or something? What the? Who the hell cares? I actually did make. He's got cookies. a martini. Screw him. I did make a martini. No, he still has some and cookies. I'm going to ask the first question. <laughs> okay. Okay. We All asked right. Hang on, hang on. Mm. Slow it down. I need to talk more. Stay time. on target. <laughs> Stay. We can talk about how my boots finally came back from no, the shoe let's, shop. We, we got well, if we're going to talk about my hair, we can talk about your boots. Okay, when we talk about your hair, we'll talk about my boots. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so. Am I allowed to talk yet? Uh, Question one. Oh, crap. Correct? Steven's finished his martini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, question one. Question one comes from J.S. Hardison. Oh, I'm not answering sh- that. Shoot. It goes a little something. To totally hose that. Sorry. It goes guys. a little something like this. Could he do something about the Wikipedia entries on rock bands? Reading like boys seventh grade essays on Manson? Probably not, considering I write like a seventh grade boy. But, um... <laughs> I love it. Yeah, um... But I could do something about it. You could if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't really want to. I don't really want to. One of the That is a no one of, one of, Jethro. One of the one of the, the angry sayings about Wikipedians when they get together in IRC and we do get together in IRC and gripe at each other is we don't want your shitty band on Wikipedia. So You hear that, Doctor Normal? Your shitty band will never be on Wikipedia. Um you know, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucks. Oh, look, now I'm green or something. Right. Now. Uh, no, <laughs> but that, 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 I mean, my shitty band was a good shitty band. I mean, and there are shitty bands and then victim? there are good shitty bands. I could start bands. singing I victim. Good shitty I shouldn't, band. but. Uh, well, we're going to have a whole Strange Love Live dedicated to I don't even think that band. Steven was alive when you were in that band. Probably not. Uh,. Can you want to tell us what year you were born? No. Okay. A I'm, lady uh, never reveals her secrets. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling Anytime you. Anytime after 1984? A lady never, never reveals mind. her secrets. Never mind. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to question number two. Wait, 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 wait. So, uh, by sh- okay, so again, could you do something about Wikipedia entries on rock bands reading like um, boys' seventh grade essays on You're not allowed to do that without the accent. Medicine. You have to do Hang on. Oh, it's yeah, Jethro. But, you got to do the accent. Well, my my question my question is this: Is he talking about the Rush Wikipedia entry? Because I could imagine that would be right at a seventh grade. Right it. Right. Right. <laughs> right at. I said right. Oh, okay, at. I thought you said right it, and I was like, no. dude, Doctor Normal, go back to school. I'm gonna look up Rush. But we'll get through these questions, and I'm okay. going to look up. I'm the short answer up. is yes. The retort would be, no. will I do something about it? Okay. Question number two comes from McClure and Nathan Bergey. Is that how we say your name, Nathan? And they'd like to know about your hair. What What about it? You cut it all off. I did cut it all off. You um, had very distinctive hair. Everyone in the Portland tech scene recognized it. And now you have short I hair. I had long hippie hair. You had Dutch boy hair. Dutch boy hair? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm, that makes me glad I cut it off now. I like the short I don't want to be known as Dutch boy hair. We can see kid. your face now. Yeah. We couldn't see it um, before. Before it was like hair. The short answer is that I couldn't remember what I looked like with short hair. I'd had mm. long hair since I was like 17. Mm-hmm. So, so it was time like to chop it all off. Four or five years? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call yourself old? Oh, yeah, I actually did. I baked cookies today. Would you like some? Hey, you don't have to be old to bake cookies. <laughs> no, that's true. But I didn't. I, I used to have to call my mom to tell me how to bake the cookies. So. Can I say something about the hair? What? I liked his old hair. Really? Yeah. I like his new he hair. But, but I like this hair better. I like this no, hair can, better. No, he can, but his hair doesn't yeah. grow down. It the more out. I look at it, the mm. more I like it. Better. You mean he has like a fro? Yes. 
I want to see that. Yes, it's poofy. And maybe that's just my reflection of all that. It, well, I think he used a lot of Aquanet, like the, <laughs> yeah. And lip gloss. I don't know what the lip gloss had to do with the hair, but when he had long hair, he wore lip gloss. It's cool. I'm down with the lip gloss. Yeah. You're all right, Dr. Normal. And Spanish. Your masculinity you know, is secure. When you see the YouTube videos, <laughs> you too will want to write a wiki entry on my shitty band. <laughs> Trust me. No. Yes. Probably not. No. No. Yes. No. No. I said, okay. You know what? Anyone. <laughs> we'll write one about Let's Strange see. Love Live, but Let's not see. the Let's... Shitty Wiki. Let's put it this way. Anything. How much does that I am cost? too young. I am too young to appreciate your shitty band. Therefore, he is too young to appreciate your shitty band. Thank you. Oh. I like how we're hanging up on him now. It works, right? Yeah, it's it's nice. like he's the man <laughs> with the shitty band and the lip gloss. I am kind of the man. Yeah. Hey, whippies. Okay, okay, so that was the story of the hair. He didn't remember what he looked like with short hair. Mm-hmm. We have a real question. Dr. We do. Normal. From is our it, friend in Brazil. Is it the ten-part question? Five-part question. And I have to... I don't oh, know if Lord. I want to answer a five-part question. No, it's question. a good question, though. It's a okay. good question. Right. It's, it's, it's not like a, a why-did-you-cut-your-hair question. Okay. It's a good. wiki community question. The, I would have to say the, the definitive answer on the cutting of the hair mm-hmm. is that... The fact that everyone asks me about why I cut my hair makes me glad that I cut my hair. Yeah, because you were defined by your hair. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. As Nathan said at WordCamp, now you just look like a normal geek. And that's, that's a good You know thing. what I think it is? What, Dr. Normal? I think you're one of our, uh, you know, geek superstars out there, and we care about your hairstyle. Yeah. yeah. That's really freakish. It is freakish. Are we turning this into, like, what's that... Like a news magazine show where we talk about geek gossip, and the big geek gossip is that Stephen cut his hair. I don't think that qualifies. Uh, it was as on gossip. Twitter. Doesn't gossip have sure. to be like a secret kind of? No. It doesn't have to be something where like it just you has walk to be something you can talk you about see... behind someone's back. Oh, okay. That's we cool. could talk about your hair behind your back. Yeah. I like Stephen in the hall. I love that show. Those kids were funny. That was a joke. <laughs> It, it wasn't, wasn't funny, though. It wasn't funny. Even though I'm laughing. Yeah. You were laughing at the complete non-funniness of the man. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. It's okay. Dr. Rome will ask the five-part question. Oh, crap. Okay. As if I don't have enough to do, well, let's take you to that Oh, let's cover right this. Now. We rehearsed this before we started. You volunteered. Yeah. yeah. Like we rehearsed our presentation at <laughs> Hey, we rehearsed that once in the speaker's lounge. Yeah. Before we... Yeah. Ten I minutes the before video we talked. the whole time. Okay, so here yeah. goes. Mm-hmm. I'll just pull it up, and I'm going to read it verbatim. I have not, I have not uh, looked at these DMs. Uh, they have been in the DM inbox of Price Waterhouse, so in sealed envelope. Um, let's go. I read that Stephen is voluntarily participating. You know, this is from Escobar from Brazil, who joined us last week from work Hello. camp. Uh, Shout out to I'm Escobar. too pale to answer questions from someone in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a tanning lamp in here. Okay, I read that Stephen is voluntarily participating in the English Wikipedia and other free culture projects, and just today at a pleating Buddy Press, is that correct? Published a new blog post. Give a little, and there's a link to this. Question is, what motivates the community to voluntarily develop software, and how someone who is not programmer can help the reason i ask is because i do not see in brazil a big commitment of users many people use wordpress for example and not so many people contribute to the community i would like to encourage that here that's a really nice question i don't know if i'm the person who's most qualified to answer that but you're the guy on the couch i am the guy on the couch and i didn't say i wasn't going to answer the question (laughs) But I would say that he should watch the very cool episode that you guys did with Matt Mullenweg at WordCamp um, if he wants to know more about participating in WordPress. Um, But whether it's an open source development project like WordPress or whether it's Wikipedia or whatever it is, um, the two parts to that is why do people contribute and how can I encourage it more? I would say um, people contribute um, for, I would say, I mean, when you get right down to it, it really is altruism. And that sounds crazy. Like, why would these thousands of people contribute just out of the goodness of their hearts or whatever? That sounds really cheesy. 
Um, but it's sort of two parted in a way. I mean, I learn new things and so does everyone else who contributes to new projects um, and new subjects in Wikipedia and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the same is true of WordPress uh, or open source development projects that um, your knowledge grows and that you get connected to the larger community that helps you personally by giving back a little bit. So you do definitely get something out of it that's fairly concrete. And then, of course, the other side is that people recognize the value in the things that they're already using, say, whether it's awesome free CMS like WordPress or whether mm -hmm. it's an encyclopedia like Wikipedia and that they feel compelled to give back a little bit. Um, and there's the indignation factor, too, a little bit. That's we like, about that on wow, P this, this PHP is really horrific. I'm going to fix it. Mm -hmm. Or that's not true in Wikipedia. I'm going to fix it. So... Do you think it's a ever an reasons. ego factor, like a pride factor, like people look up to them because I think they do something? I don't cool? know. I don't want to assume this about open source development because I don't think I can really say that. It might be true of the same, but I think once people get involved to a certain extent and like become known in like wiki communities, mm -hmm. there's definitely a like, hey, look at what I did kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, once you understand like, you know what people respect in the community. I think that's human nature, though. It is human nature. So there's a little bit of an ego involved. And also, to be perfectly honest, for a lot of people who are, say, you know, cool with writing an encyclopedia as a hobby and meeting other people who do the same thing, it's also like, hey, I want to meet people who are into the same things as me because there's not a whole lot of people in my school or my town or my job who really care about writing an encyclopedia article about birds or something like that so it's like geeks getting the opportunity to meet other geeks virtually so it's, and geeks like to meet geeks yeah it's so i have a, two questions about that and then there's more questions in the chat room nice. actually good questions okay. um they're always good questions so it keeps me from my like you know turf war question so go ahead okay um so my question <laughs> is that um, turf war sorry so because wiki is open mm -hmm. right because if you're an encyclopedia editor you're working for a publisher and an editor is it um is it like you know if i'm an encyclopedia author or editor or contributor is is wiki like my playground where it's like well this is really what it's about this is the stuff that the editors uh wouldn't let me put into the subject mm. or this is how i feel about it i would say no because the people who actually like work for a publishing house or like an encyclopedia or Britannica or something like that are so personally, financially, every in every way invested in this edifice that is Britannica or is the publishing house or whatever it is that they it it feels like an affront to them in many ways. And there definitely are people in some areas that you would think would be offended by wikipedia or the idea of it that aren't mm -hmm. like librarians mm -hmm. some of the best wikipedians and most passionate ones i know are librarians that makes sense to me yeah um keepers of knowledge yeah exactly so it depends on the industry and the kind of person that is i think but by and large not really i think it's more like wikis and wikipedia and internet publishing in general whether it's wordpress or whatever it is uh, the real people who get really passionate about it, that the real magic of it is providing an opportunity for those who would never have gotten into or past the gate gatekeepers of traditional publishing. Dr. Norman, there's a part two. Yeah, actually, and actually I, I have to say that this was, um, your conversation was also kind of morphed in, in a, in a comment and a question in the chat room uh fat boy roberts um who's not fat i've seen his picture um, <laughs> if anybody thank you for that clarification hon check out court and fat boy on the web go check him out court okay. and fat boy cool. question um, comment. okay um and he he was asking about ego and so is it true that wiki editors will let personal opinion or the quality of a subject color how harshly or stringently they edit existing articles? So kind of a 
follow on to that. How, how, you know, wouldn't that depend on the per, on the editor? I mean, the I would say that the short answer is yes, but it doesn't end up being as bad as you think. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, people get involved because they care about the content, and some sometimes that means people who care about the content because. It's a really contentious issue like Israel-Palestine or something like that, and they come into it with an opinion. But part of... what What is... I mean, that's a fantastic example. Mm-hmm. Israel-Palestine. You know, I mean, what's what's the state of an article like that? Or is it... Does it have the big red at the at the top that says this is a contentious issue yeah, it's, and you know. it's really a case by case basis i think on the whole as a great example yeah on the whole part of the technology of wiki and the way it works is that because it's not like a blog where there's this person with this opinion writing on their blog and this person with this opinion writing on their blog and maybe they comment back and forth and there's sort of the technology allows people to sort of sit in different camps Mm -hmm. and like snipe at each other the fact that they're all editing this one page and that it's really easy to undo changes continuously and that people reach a point where they get sort of fatigued and realize that there's no point in trying to sort of just sit there and wait each other out and like go back and forth because it could go on for eternity so in a way um the nature of wiki and the technology sort of naturally forces people to realize that they have to go about working about an issue in a different way Mm -hmm. kind of a thing and some of that is particular to wikipedia the neutral point of view policy which basically says we don't say you know this is x we say this person said this about x and this person this other person said this about x and just sort of yeah state the opinions instead of stating something that might be opinion as fact Mm -hmm. that's the goal anyway so, in other words, that was a really long way of saying, yes, people come into it with opinions and egos and all of that garbage. But because of the nature of Wiki, it tends to more easily work out to something that's less opinionated. Wiki's like almost like this little utopian society inside of... I, I, did, what was this? That was like a sigh. I mean, it really is, though. I mean, if you think about it. Because when you said the utopian, then I just checked out. I'm going to Wiki. Well, no, no, I mean, it is. I mean, everyone's got this. In in my opinion, the utopian society couldn't actually be what is defined as a utopian Mm -hmm. society. In my opinion, it would be, no matter how uh, violent the argument around it is, Mm -hmm. the society as a whole still remains intact and peaceful. And Yeah. And that kind of seems overall, I mean, it's a very hippie way of thinking, the Wikipedia is. It's a very like, oh, we're a community, man, and we're all connected. And yeah, shit. there's definitely kind of, when you get like a whole bunch of Wiki people like in the a room together. like the hippies on Star Trek on that Star Trek episode. No, never mind. Too young. <laughs> Are you talking about classic Trek or you, like oh, Next Generation? On, yeah. I'm a Star Wars I'm sorry. Dude, not a Star Trek Yeah, dude. I know. You're young. Uh, well, so my my question, so you say utopian, my question is, is it the wisdom of crowds? I thought you were going to say the wisdom of something else. Okay, go ahead. The, I don't really think there's a lot of wisdom in crowds, but okay. Well, yeah, I think that's, I think um, the pages, the, the content itself ends up being sort of wise in a way, but what drives Wikipedia forward is definitely conflict and like discussion and debate Mm -hmm. and that for every like decent line of information that ends up feeling kind of neutral on Mm -hmm. a really like opinionated issue there's ten thousand more lines of arguing and debate and like bullshit of bullshit behind it yeah exactly there's but for every little bit of content that seems okay there's a lot of work behind it and that includes you know the online equivalent of yelling and screaming and vitriol and name calling and all kinds of crap that it would be really boring. Is that what happens behind the scenes in the IRC? Not in IRC because that's sort of like the mega geeks and, (laughs) and it's easier to moderate IRC. It's like a real time stream. If you get, you know, name calling and all that stuff, they just boo you out of the channel. They boo you out of the channel. I'm sorry. (laughs) I thought you said boo. (laughs) Um, no, that was like a yeah. <laughs> I think with that, it's time for more martinis. It is. Yeah, we'll we'll give him a pause. Anyway, I, I was like boo boo. 
It so was like, God. we do our absolute yeah. best to reduce personal attacks and name calling and other kind of time wasting junk. Mm -hmm. But it does happen. Is that a technical term? Time wasting junk. Time wasting junk. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely very technical. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Normal, were there more questions? Because um, I, we could find out about yeah. things that are non-wiki related. No, I, I, I think that's about. Um, well, yeah, okay. Do you have another one? So, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's kind of along the same lines. I think Fat Boy Roberts and I kind of think alike a little bit. <laughs> We're probably both assholes. I've never met him. I don't know. He's probably a nice man. I'm sure. Wonderful. He's not an asshole like you. Being. I think. Um, I think. We just like I, I, sarcastic. You know. I of. get the 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 train of thought that you're that you and Fat Boy Roberts are going down, and yeah. I think the the. The nice little quote. Well, it's the human. No, it's the, the human the nature. Nice, the nice right? quote that would explain what I'm yeah. trying to say about this is that Wikipedia is like sausage. You might like the way it tastes, but that you don't necessarily want to see how it's made. Have you been talking <laughs> to? Uh... Wow, <laughs> that was straight out of our uh, word camp video, wasn't yeah. it? What really did he say that? No, but okay. it was a quote um, there was in an the interview. word camp video. Yeah, there was a quote in the word camp. A video presentation when we were talking to Audrey and Selena about uh, not wanting to see how <laughs> not wanting to see how the sausage was made yeah well yeah, we put it in there because it was a nice little uh, bit and well and, it's an encyclopedia it also, we don't ever have original thoughts yeah, yeah so. well but but anything but you're right Stephen anything worthwhile worth making mm -hmm. I mean when sausage is good it's really fantastic right <laughs> I'm, I'm glad the camera's on really me right now. We don't need any more martinis. Um, I'm just trying to be really sorry. <laughs> but uh, what I was going to say is that um, it, it's 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 like code. It's like anything. It's like podcasting. Mm -hmm. Nothing to see here. You don't want to see. Move along. Move you don't want to see how we do this. You know, it's it's don't just enjoy the sausage. Mm -hmm. Which just I think shut is shut up and yeah. eat the sausage. Forget about. By the way, it's made. Pete Grillo was in the chat room earlier so Hi, Pete. shout out to Pete the sausage Grillo man and sausage yeah okie dokie and moving on <laughs> no what do we got here Cammy? I don't know if Steven and I are allowed to make the martinis uh, yeah. I, I, I think we're you the should, ones who have to be actually. on the live stream come on let's... all right let's go you want to make it wait no, a minute you can right. make it. this reminds you me make better martinis this reminds me of something I saw before week ago well i think this is really about the fact that we wanted to start the show and you're like no you guys might need more to drink and i was like fine i'll just bring it down with me that's cammy's nice way of saying that i really want to be matt mulligan where we don't did, did i say that we don't need any more of these because i really meant that. but anyway no, that's fine no, cammy's nice one. way of saying that i want to be photo matt when i grow up someday he does. so it's this true. is why we're imitating the last episode he in every way possible throw the panties at him well it was more like embarrassing tweets than panties it but it was embarrassing tweets about underwear though that's true and someone did actually ask him about what kind of underwear he wears yeah but that wasn't a cute girl that was i don't know who asked that was uncle nate oh really was it nate yeah he said... shame on you nate you have so no self-control well it was melissa lyon's suggestion but i don't think she really meant to ask so i guess we're going to recreate we're using the word press gin oh i'm sorry as we call it oh well look there's the video mm-hmm the magic of television. Yeah, we don't even get to be on camera. Right? Yeah, I know. that's why I was making funny gestures. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. Did you want to close that Vanna, up? WordPress Gin? No. Our Gin sponsored by WordPress. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to check the sponsor list. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think I think each week, Cammy makes a martini, I guess, or something. I like how you just like <laughs> poured that I on wanted the... to make sure it was empty. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm sure this is fascinating for everyone. I'm sure really. it is. Well, let me let me put up pull up the martini wiki page. Is there a martini? Yeah, there's yeah, probably we should see that's we should make it by the recipe that's there and see if it tastes terrible. What we should well, well uh, traditionally yeah. speaking, a martini is fifty. Holy crap! Ooh. There's all kinds of links there. Well, right? there's probably martini. a dry martini recipe. Actually, yes. drinks, if you want to talk about accuracy, mm -hmm. for standard cocktails, they're probably pretty accurate because most of the articles go by the American Bartenders Association recipe nice. or whatever it is. So, so we're all really that's, that's when you can rely on. 
Yeah, smart and drunk. There you okay, go. There we go. That's or just weird. drunk. Martini vermouth, martini cocktail, a popular cocktail. Let's look so at it. So what's the traditional um, ratio? Am I right? Is it 50-50? The martini is a cocktail made with gin and vermouth. Sometimes vodka is substituted for gin, although this is often <laughs> called a vodka, vodka martini or vodka tini or a kangaroo. A kangaroo? Shout out to our Australian friends. The drink is almost always garnished with an olive or, less commonly, a sliver of a lemon peel. Or, it is often or, an, or an onion would be Gibson, right? Is that yes. I thought the lemon peel was a Gibson, but anyway. No, no, no. no, no. no. That's Onion the twist. is Gibson. Onion's a Gibson, yeah. yeah. It is often described He's as... obviously knowledgeless. So. Okay. Should I read some more? Oh, I like this. I, I do have to read this, though. Over the years, the martini has become one of the most well-known mixed alcoholic beverages. H.L. Mencken once called the martini the only American invention as perfect as the sonnet. Huh. Really? I prefer but martinis. Whatever. We didn't sonnets. invent the sonnet. Yeah. E.B. White funny called like it that. the elixir of quietude. Which quietude? explains why he never not, used not capital us. letters. <laughs> no, it's the elixir of... Uh-oh, can't no, even have been drinking. Man could never mm-hmm. use capitals. He's too drunk. Too lazy. It is a drink of the one-time three-martini <laughs> lunch. That's what I love. Three-martini lunch? Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Can you imagine that? I can imagine nap you can't, time. You can't go to a, you know, you can't go have a beer on a business lunch these days. And it's really? Like, Are you sure? Uh, yeah. that's, okay, maybe that's one of the things I remember from my first week. And this is... Well, you work at About recorded. Us. So. Yeah, my first week at About Us, we went to Produce Row, like six of us. <laughs> and... We all, like, ordered Diet Cokes or whatever it is that we normally order. Watch it. I heard that CEO just won a major award. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a moment. As soon as we Dr. Will. Normal switches the video. Oh. What, what am I switching? Well, obviously, you need to talk to the camera for a moment. Yeah. We can look at the wiki page. Why don't we do that? That's fine, too. That's not quite There's the wiki. And a beautiful They've already seen picture that. of a martini. Oops. A little bit big. And uh, and I think you know, it was interesting because uh, the Hockley's only thing Aaron Flickr stream has a beautiful martini. Photo. I know the only thing that yeah, Matt... except we can't use those in Wikipedia because he insists on non-commercial oh. no, licenses. No, I'm saying, but we we could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could use that. I'm shaking my finger at you, Aaron. Hockley. Oh no! It's he more just controversy. Wag his finger. <laughs> that guy come. You know, it's, there's more controversy with that guy. Why did you have to put olive juice? I like the dirty martini. It's you don't good. like dirty martinis? No. No, he told me a horror story about oh. pickle pickle brian. Oh. oh. That's different I, though. But I can understand though why Are you guys going to cheer? Cheers each. We're going to break the glasses or spill. Oh, or you know what? I why am I not playing? You should have been playing music, music, music the whole time. We, we assumed that you I, were. We can't hear things, so we just thought you were doing what you're supposed to do. Okay, hang on. Just rewind. No, Everybody I'm not rewind. Drink. Everybody rewind. Eat your lemon pies mm. and just rewind. Is it lemon pie? Do they have... listen to bad hair? No, no, no. Do they minutes. have lemon pie tonight? I don't know. We'll find out. We should go there after we're done here. I can't yeah. believe if they have lemon pie tonight, I'm gonna scream. It's my favorite. They don't have. They probably don't have lemon pie. He's oh. here. Well. Lemon pie is the best pie. What's okay, your favorite Wiffy's pie? Over. What? What's your favorite Wiffy's pie? Ooh. You should fire me. I would have to say... Okay. Hang on. Okay. Now you clink glasses and cheers. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What a moron. Now, I'm trying to find out what Steven's favorite Whiffy's pie is. Well, this is now pie music and not actually uh, drink music. You had mm. your chance to make it drink music. I, I I'm like, a carnivore, but my favorite Whiffy's pie is the barbecue tofu. I've not had the barbecue tofu. It's very, very good. Is it? Because like it's tofu. not like plain sweet syrupy barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. It's like just spicy enough. Nice. Do you like the brisket? The brisket one? I I think I've only had the brisket like once, and it was definitely good, but yeah. it's not my favorite. I like the brisket without the mozzarella. I'm I'm not as fond as it of it with the mozzarella. It's okay. I just. Maybe you don't like the cheese with my meat so much. I guess the the better sign is that I've never had a Whiffy's pie I didn't like. That is particularly. true. That is very true. So, but still, the lemon pie is. I have not had the lemon. Oh. 
I don't know. I always hear that. Everyone that I talk to, I'm like, oh, the lemon's my favorite. They're always mm -hmm. like, I've never had the lemon. Try the lemon. Next time they have the lemon. I will try it. Greg, I need some lemon pie, man. Yeah, she does. Though Same. I would take blueberry. That was... Blue I can't eat blueberry. What? Why not? It made me almost cry. It was so good. The, the lemon pie makes me cry. Oh. But have you ever we seen Stand By Me? We can have our pies and cry. And cry, <laughs> cry into our pies. <laughs> wow. Have you seen Stand By Me? Yes. I'm not that young. Well, no, I assume that you see it in repeats. It's been on television. I don't know, Will Wheaton is like are 55 DVDs. now, right? Isn't he? How old is Will Wheaton? He's 55. No, he's I'm not. telling you. Oh, yeah. That's not funny. No, yeah. Will Wheaton he's is not. You know what? He's not older than you. I'm just saying. He might be. No, well, yeah, it he's could be like a crazy fluke. He's not. Oh, no, it he's could not. be like a crazy. Uh, um, uh, what is that shit they always talk on? Next generation, uh, uh, a time rip travel? in the time Don't mention continuum. Next generation in my presence. What's wrong the, with you? Whatever. Really? Oh, so the you're time go spatial anywhere. It's in, So you're a the... Star Wars nerd. But you don't like Next Generation. It's the worst one. They don't go anywhere. It sits in space. It's worse the same than Voyager? Place. But no, it's got, Deep Space Nine. I'm sorry. Definitely I'm sorry, worse look, than Voyager. Because... It's got Worf and John luc Picard. <clears throat> I'm a girl. Wow. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm a girl. This is really the sign that I'm not a Star Trek nerd because You're I was thinking of thinking, Voyager. No. Or Deep Space Nine. You're I'm thinking speaking, of Deep Space Nine. Yeah, I was thinking of Deep Space Nine, the, oh, the thank space you. station one. That's thank like they don't you. go Send your cards anywhere. and okay, letters to stephenwalling.com. Really... No, 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 no. I'm just ranting my I'm blog about how I don't know one, The about second Star one. Trek. The one that has Jean Luc Picard and Yeah, Moore. that's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Anything. I love that. Yeah. Get me out of here. I didn't watch the other ones. Give me a pie. Yeah. What? Huh? Next what? Generation was on. Huh? Like, I watched Next Generation yeah, when I was, was a good. kid. Yeah, me too. It yeah. was on when we were kids. <laughs> but I like, didn't. Old Dr. Normal. <laughs> I did not watch Star Trek The Next Generation when I was a kid. No, you were a grown up when it came out. I watched Star Trek was when it? I was a kid. Yeah, it was the original series. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, I was, he like, was, I was drinking martinis when I was watching Star, Star Trek The Next Generation. No shit. He was the target market for Star Wars when it came out. I was. Uh, yeah, that's true. not that old. Well, he was. Yeah, he was like a you know young teen. I could boy. be your father, son. No, you Steven, couldn't. Search your yes. soul. He's old enough to be father. your father. People keep saying that in the Portland tech scene. I don't know if it just like amuses them that I'm super young or that they want to like have me guilt me into no, saying that is, they're not old. He is this old. Oh. He is actually old enough to be I, a I just thought it was funny that I could do the Darth Vader thing, because I think it would be that cool. Was a, I think it'd that be was awesome. the worst Darth Vader impression. I would impression. love to turn you to well, the dark side. Was, was, was that a Darth Vader impression? <laughs> yes. No, I'm serious. I he didn't tried. think it was a Darth Vader impression. I do a better Darth Vader impression than him, it's sad. Do it. Such a okay, that was better. That, that was, better. was a lot better. My Darth Vader impression is solely this. <sighs> You sound like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's true. I he just do. called Cammy a cow. No, 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 no. I said she sounded <laughs> like a cow wow. when she was huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be invited on again. These wiki guys. I called are him old and brash. I called her a cow. And, uh. <gasps> oh, no, no. This is all. It's all very nice. We like Steven. We will listen to bad butt <laughs> rock and roll. I will turn you to the dark side. Um, I hope the chat room is amused by this. I hope so too. I'm just embarrassed. We'll Did you know that really we weren't joking? East he Portland. really was in a bad butt rock band. And oh, he, I believe it. And he, <laughs> lip gloss? Jesus, why do you believe it? Because you told me so like weeks and weeks ago. And oh, that's the, why. the first I bonding yeah. moment oh. I ever had with okay. his father was we were looking at old family photos. Oh, Lord. And they're looking at like the young tattoo. Now I really girl. feel like your kid. Because no, first you're fighting in front of me, and now you're telling me about when you were bonding. Unfortunately, with... the child already knows all this. But yeah. so, young tattooed freak girl, and he's showing pictures of of Dr. Normal's childhood mm -hmm. when they pull out the picture of Dr. Normal with really long hair and I go, ugh, I hate guys with long hair. <laughs> and then then his family liked me. Because even good. though I was the tattoo you were like, you girl, dirty long hairs. I was like, oh, filthy hippie. Long hair, bad. Oh, Lip that's gloss, why bad. you're so glad I my cut dad my hair. Is, yes, is, I don't yeah. like men with long hair. Maybe I dated a Never guy with mind. long hair for too long. That could be it. 
I made We're him cut his hair too. Drink though, music, so. but what the hell? Are we really? Yeah, that's I really own long it. drink. I mean, music. I'm part of, sort of on it. I mean, it's. I had grand I need to plans for after that album. hours. What were the grand I can't plans? Remember. That's the beauty we, of after we hours. We breezed through the hair question and the other question. We're skipping the Hulu stuff. Yeah. No, I got please. my boots Skip. back from the boot shop. You did. We were talking about those earlier. It's exciting stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We were talking very seriously. I have to ask you a question. The zipper broke, uh -huh. and I dropped them off in February. February. Mm -hmm. I picked them up on Wednesday. Because that's when they were ready. Okay. Are we almost done? Yeah. So I was <laughs> no. going to ask this question. I'm kidding. No, no. no it's sad. No, I got a good not. one. It's so sad. And it actually if it's is... sad, it's because I don't have anything to talk about. Okay, oh, trust I have me. a question. I can make you talk Hello. about stuff. What, so Dr. Steven. Normal? What? Mm -hmm. So, Steven. We could talk about our brothers and their... No, don't talk about vodka. your brother. Steven, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I'm pretending that you're... Our guest? Not over here, but you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> My question for you is, as far as Wikipedia entries goes, tell us the most... Uh, what would I say? Hollywood pop culture, the most least newsworthy kind of popish entry mm. you've ever made. Go. Pop culture on or a like... subject on a subject that was just like you know. Oh. Like Paris pop... Hilton, you el oh, okay. edited a Par something like that. Tell me you didn't make an entry about Paris Hilton. No, that okay. was written long before I. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Not quantum a... physics. Yeah, yeah. But something a little more light. That's a good question. A little David I don't Hasselhoff know if I've ever... editing? Or... No, I don't. I mean, I def... I've edited like I think like fifteen thousand different articles. But that's probably well, like... that's a lot. So that's... but that's not like sub always substantive like some amazing new fact about David Hasselhoff subjects that's like reverting <laughs> David Hasselhoff is gay or whatever so so um, di so you 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 actually added the entry that David Hasselhoff was gay in wikipedia then that's what you're saying right <laughs> no okay that's not what i'm saying <laughs> oh, God. okay Dr. so Normal's pop a culture maker. i don't think that i've ever added like a super pop culture article though i think i did edit a whole bunch on one of the characters of the wire that's pretty pop culture what's the, the wire? wire the what's the wire and and we have a topic it's the only the greatest show ever made on television what the hell is what the is wire? it <laughs> you really don't know what the wire is See, I am here, so not we pretending. said we were going to not talk about television and here we are talking it's not about my fault. television i didn't know what I don't, I don't even have a TV set, and we're talking about television. You know what? That's I don't watch. The only time I ever watch my TV is when there's a DVD attached to it. Yeah, I watch. The TV Wire on, is. You know how I watch. Super TV. amazing show. It wasn't on like cable or anything. Can I get but... it on the H U L U? Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. You can't get it on the H U L U. <gasps> Can I get it on Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's. It's the portrait of a city. Okay. Um, it starts out. What? No, 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 not okay. like. Um, it starts out being like a cop show, and there's drug dealers and blah blah blah. But each season adds um, a new part of the city onto it. So it's like first season, it's just a drama about cops and drug dealers, and mm -hmm. then the next season they add in kids. So it starts being about the school system, I and then they add in know. politician characters, and it. So it's so by the end of it, it ends up being. A whole portrait of the city. Do you know if it's available on Instant View on Netflix? <laughs> we're not talking about this anymore. What were we talking about before The Wire? Um, so that was it. That's the on. most I'm, kind of I'm pop, making a note pop on my culture. IPhone. That's probably the most pop culture article. I've what do you generally gravitate to? I mean, what, like, I literally, don't... what, what do you go edit? Okay, every so day? let's. I mean, um, well, is there... he only a? And what's your person? criteria? There are three, and this isn't a huge number by comparison, but there are like 3,000 articles on my watch list that I check in the edits all the time of what's wow. going on. Is this like Twitter following? It's kind of like Twitter following, um, except not really, because there's no, I don't have to listen to what David Hasselhoff is having for dinner. Or... But you have to listen <laughs> to what people are saying about David Hasselhoff. Yeah, but I mean... <laughs> 
Not that many. Not as many. Let, okay, I've let's never put, had a David Hasselhoff tweet, so I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> You're the one who introduced David Hasselhoff, Dr. Normal. This is why we're using him as an it's example true, continuously. Oh, it oh, is your fault, Dr. Normal. Oh, we're talking uh, purely hypothetical. Did you ever watch Knight Rider? I, I did. You yeah, did? So. I'm too young sure. for that. I watched it once, like in repeats. Did you know that they made? We we're not talking about TV anymore. Wait a yeah. minute, no, no okay, more television so, talk. Okay, okay. Um, chickens, damn it, chickens. No, 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 no forget chickens. I want to know. know about the I want to know. I'm fascinated. I had chickens when I was a kid. It's I nostalgic. For you know what? It is hussy and we Maude talk were my way chickens. too hussy and Ma. Uh-huh. My uh, Maud. Okay. Hussy and my mom named them. Yeah. Okay. Your mom named the chicken hussy. My uh. mom's a brilliant creature. <laughs> okay. Chickens, they lay eggs. Single? You can eat no. them. That's no, nice. No, she's not. I want to know. Wait a minute. My dad. Wait, really? Yes. Who to thunk that? Are we done? No. About the chickens? <laughs> no. This is a tech podcast. How many chickens do you have? We talk way too much about no, no, that chickens was on the, this damn that, talk. No, no. The tech podcast was earlier. This okay. is after hours. But anyway, I have. He I, has a really, I really important want to know question. This. Okay. I really want to know what his criteria is for. Uh, editing it's, those wiki things it's out whatever there, those interests me. I also but so give us give us kind of just the okay, rundown so, of um, what you're editing. Bunch Do it of now, sustainable it. agriculture articles, a bunch of food okay. articles, Green stuff, um, yeah. geeky stuff. I wrote the YQL article, and I wrote a bunch about little web startups and things like that. Um, I've also written stuff about local things mm-hmm. and my hometown and junk like that. Sure. Um, and base, I mean, sometimes it's just like random things I come across in a newspaper and I know aren't in Wikipedia. Probably the weirdest article I've ever like spent any time writing. The one that I created Mm -hmm. is about a really, really obscure Belgian sport where they put finches in little boxes and make them sing competitively and they count the number of competitively competitive. They count, they, they have like long sticks and they count the number and with chalk they count the number of times that the bird sings in like an hour crazy and whichever bird sings the most wins and whatever it's the weirdest sport i've ever heard of fucking insane it's weird that's the weirdest article i've ever written probably insane but i mean whatever floats my boat crazy belgian singing birds Mm -hmm. in boxes that is the weirdest article I've ever written. Right, it's not now, pop culture. Very cool. But I want to ask him about the chickens, and you're just going to have to... I got, I got my answer. I'm okay. You've okay. probably had like three other people who have had chickens oh, yeah. on Thank the podcast. Josh Audrey. And, uh, does Audrey Selena, have chickens? Selena. She, I think Audrey has... I know Selena she, had the chickens. I know Audrey knows about having chickens. I know she knows yeah, about yeah. it. So, And then Josh Bancroft and Rachel Bancroft. Yes. And the chickens. And me. I had chickens when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. We know this. Yeah, and in my uh, strange of, in the presentation in the talk we gave at WordCamp, I had a picture of my chickens. Yes, I know that. But they were, you know, two headed. <laughs> it looked like one of the chickens had a head growing out of its ass. They do that a lot, actually. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you have two chickens. I have two chickens. I had three, and then a raccoon ate one of them. Stupid raccoons. They suck. I hate raccoons. Mm-hmm. One chased me down the street once, so I'm really. Looking. Yeah. Wow. Did you get rabies? No, it didn't bite me. <laughs> well, what happened was this. I'm walking to pick my daughter up from school. Urban wildlife. Mm-hmm. I'm walking to pick my daughter up from school. And I'm walking past this house. I walk past every day. And I see a little bit of movement during the day in this bush. And I turn and I look out of the corner. And there's a freaking raccoon. And I stop. And I look at the raccoon. And I'm staring at the raccoon. And then I realize that the raccoon is staring at me. And I'm like, oh, shit. Is there some rule? Should I not be looking at the raccoon Mm -hmm. when the raccoon starts to chase me? So I ran because it could have rabies. It's a raccoon. I ran away and it chased me down the street until it was, you know, secure that I wasn't going to be there. I found out later that it had just had a litter of babies. Mm. And so it was chasing me away. And I know how much you like to eat raccoon babies. (laughs) I love some raccoon babies. But then, this is the freaky part. I cross the street, and I'm walking towards the school a little bit further, Mm -hmm. and a fucking snake (laughs) (laughs) slithers across the sidewalk. Oh, and I'm just like, what? (laughs) I can't stand the urban What kind of bad karma did you have? I know. It was was like a little gardener snake or something. I mean, it was completely... It was Mm -hmm. probably some kid's pet snake that got loose, but 
I lived in Texas for too many years. I don't like snakes. Mm. They're icky and they slither. So they have no legs. When are you going to let Dr. Normal, when are you going to let Cammy get chickens so she'll talk, stop talking about them? I don't, I'm lazy. Yeah, chickens are easy uh, though. I'm, I can, I'm lazier than you. I, I can easily answer that question. Uh, you haven't seen our our garden this year. Yeah, but um, chickens are easier than a garden. A garden you have to like water and prune and all this crap. Chickens you just remember feed that them whole dark side eggs. thing. We suck the life out of anything that's living. My cats are still alive. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> As is your daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've managed to raise a child to the age of seven and a half. I'm just saying. If she's you can, not dead if yet. you can raise a kid, you can have chickens. They have really good fresh eggs. You Chickens like are better omelets. than kids, actually. Mm. Uh, I, no. I kind of like the kid. Really? Yeah, I do. I mean, well, your kid's awesome, actually. Yeah. I, yeah. I like your kid. but Yeah, she's she is. I think uh, I'll stick with the chicken. Although I, like I, the I mentioned I to her earlier, I mentioned work. to her earlier, she has to always asks who's on the show. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, can I meet them? And I always say, no, you're supposed to be sleeping. Mm-hmm. And then I said, besides that, you've already met Steven, and he doesn't do well with children. Well, she's not exactly like a baby. No, she's I mean, not. she's almost a fully she's formed human adult. being. Yeah. Yeah, no. She's like, well, I don't know if she's almost an adult. No, she's not. But she's like, uh, kids are just like grown ups, only shorter. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah. yes. She's definitely yes, you your like, yes, the normal child. Yes, yeah. she. Oh, that poor child. Should we give a? I don't know if that's a bad thing. No, it's good. As we're She'll be a great up. podcaster. Oh, she wants oh, God, to have a podcast. Me. Are we wrapping yeah. up already? Uh, we're getting there. Is it wrap yeah. up time? It's getting close. Holy shit! Well, Doctor Normal, early. sick of this. I think he is. No, I'm not. I'm having a great time. I could go all night. That's <laughs> true. I'm not going to raise chickens, but I could podcast all night. Because I don't have to suck. This is going to be great because then the internet's going to think that the only two things I do are <laughs> chickens. raise chickens no, and wiki. Yeah. So well, tell was, us what uh, else do you do? No, was that gonna... wasn't that wasn't like fishing for anything. That was <laughs> I just used to think fun. you were a vegetarian. Really? I did. I don't know why. I kind of hate vegetarians. <gasps> <gasps> I went to. I was friends in I high school. I don't hate vegetarians, all my, but I really like meat. All my friends in high school were vegans, and oh, that makes it difficult. Yeah. 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 Anyway. What's your favorite meat product? I don't have a favorite meat product. I like <laughs> anything that used to be breathing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fava <Amen. and> beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, did you just call Steve a cannibal? Oh he did say he likes anything that was once breathing, so shit, I don't know. I don't know where that goes. I like steak. I think I'm going to draw the line at people. <laughs> okay. Uh, they there been editing the Wikipedia on cannibalism? <laughs> no, I have never edited that article. Never. <laughs> oh my god, he's lying. No, lying, I'm not. Lying. I'm not actually. You can go and look in the history. <laughs> it's very transparent. Um. Oh. Did you have a I was question? Gonna, yeah, I was gonna give it because I could talk about steak. Now. I was gonna say steak on this. Yeah. I really need a steak. My favorite restaurant in the entire city. Mm-hmm. It's really a terrible restaurant. It's the one with the giant rotating steak as a sign. Sailors? Yeah. I love sailors. Yeah. Mm. Every yeah. single like other mm. piece of edible something in the restaurant is horrible, except no, for the potatoes. steak. No, they're potatoes. Their baked potatoes are not that... Well, last they're time They're not I that had bad, them. but they're like... Right. They're not... But their I'm sorry. I wouldn't really go there. Let me look for sailors on the sponsor list here. <laughs> Isn't it impressive that I was the, like, oh, the people <laughs> you're who looking own at sail- a pen box. It's the- a fucking pen box. <laughs> The Anybody people who own Sailors probably don't even. If you told them you run a podcast, they'd probably they be like, know "What it was? You should quit the porn." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the making it into real. Good for you. The porn not good for you. <laughs> oh yeah. No, uh, there's a just, restaurant. He just, he just made the real. Yeah, there's the a restaurant real. in this no. neighborhood. Yeah, and apparently I this wasn't recorded. Oh, no, okay. it is. You're right. Yeah, there's no. a restaurant Wait, in the this after neighborhood. After hours is recorded. Yes, it's recorded. <laughs> We record uh, everything here in the House of Chaos. There's a restaurant in the neighborhood. I'm not going to say the name of it because we've mentioned it on like six episodes. <laughs> their steaks are better than the place that we just said. Oh. But they're more expensive. You'll have to tell me this place later. It's, yeah. good. it's a good Italian restaurant that I like in this neighborhood that we go to a lot. All right. With people. They have good cow then. Huh? Good cow and clams. Do you like the seafood? Oh, and clams. <laughs> that was a nice segue there. Something <laughs> wrong about that. 
Look, I'm hungry. Is that a euphemism for something? Cow and clams? Hey, baby. No. Oh. It says I'm no, cow and it's clams. Not. That's horrible. That's. Well, I don't know I what don't it know. would be a euphemism for, but whatever it is, it's disgusting. I don't know. I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> have you ever met Jimmy Wales? I have not met Jimmy Wales. Is really? that a mobster? <laughs> it does kind of sound like it does. Well, and, it, Jimmy and he looks Wales. like Kevin Costner. I pulled up his web page in like tech, and he looks like Kevin Costner. Actually, I think Jimmy Wales looks better than Kevin Costner, to be honest. All right. I, I don't like Kevin Costner. Oh, I really don't like Kevin. So you never met him, isn't it? May, maybe it's just his terrible movies. He's probably a really nice guy in real life. That's true, but I don't know him, so I'm just going to judge him from his horrible movies. Yeah, maybe get Kevin Costner on the show, that's for maybe sure. Maybe he wants to, you know, stand up for himself. Maybe he wants to say, Cammy, I'm a really nice person and a wonderful actor. And then I can be like, oh, no, no, maybe you're a nice person, but you're not a wonderful actor. Hmm. I shouldn't be like You guys should re show. record that for posterity, like on a podcast you or just, something. Yeah, I think we just might have. Yeah. You know, you know this whole thing yeah. with the couches and shit. His yeah. or recording. I'm just looking at the chat room. <laughs> Perhaps there are problems now. There are problems. Oh, are I there Kevin know. Costner problems fans? Problems like they're really restless Is after Kevin having Costner listening to us room? ramble about chickens and. Apparently, the show's supposed to be over. He said that we started early. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is actually. Mm. Yeah. What else we got? It's you a really anticlimactic ending. I know. It's, mm -hmm. uh, Did you well, watch the tick? We can't, we can't know. No? No? Did you read the tick? Read the tick? Do you like comic books? No, I'm not a comic book geek. Mm. That's good. paper. Good for you. Yeah. So you didn't watch it either? The cartoons? No, it was... The live action? No. The stupid, massive superhero? If I was going to watch a funny cartoon that didn't make a whole lot of sense, I was uh -huh. going to watch Ren and Stimpy. Not the tick. Okay. Yeah. But there's a lot of shit humor in the Ren and Stimpy. That's true. Yeah. But I was also a kid when it was out. So that, you know, that was kind of funny to me. That's fair. My yeah. kid watches the tick. Well, she's much more cultured than I am. <laughs> Spoon! <laughs> that Seriously? makes no sense to you. That's how you're yeah, gonna that end. doesn't... That... That's his battle cry. I'm sorry, it's not doing it for well, me. Well, you could, you were talking about the Doctor Who. Tell us about the Doctor Who. That was funny. I thought that was funny. I thought we were going to talk about TV, and now we are. We ended up. But you thought it was a new program. Yeah. Um, his vodka drinking brother. Yeah. I like how he's the vodka drinking brother. That it's really reflects a... <laughs> well on his morals. Yeah. That's great. My brother drinks vodka. Yeah. yeah. It was a relatable point. He convinced me that it was a brand new show that had never been on before. That's a very nice way of saying that I'm very gullible. Yes, I noticed. He's gone now, though. That's why you have an action figure. And so figure. is that guy in no, the chat room. No, I have, I, have I have an action figure because my so friend the one guy that lives who was in left Wales in the chat room? sent this yep. to me. Yeah, that's nice. Did you know that in Wales there's a Doctor Who museum? Wow. Yeah. I think we should end. I think I think we should too. I don't. Where is he going? Just keep talking amongst yourselves. Doctor Normal got out of his chair. And it kind of creeps scary. me out when he does He's that. He's not supposed to move. Did you notice he's still wearing his sunglasses? Doesn't he always do that? No. I don't know. All right. Was he supposed to be being stealthy there? No. I don't I know. I just was banning someone from the chat room, and then one of my cameras went down. Oh. That's how we do it here does at Podcast Central. Does that camera not have a power cable? Yes, it does not have a power cable. And look, there's Steven. Yes, we back. have no bananas. So as I was banning yeah, someone banana. from the chat room, I looked up and to a blank screen. Oh, which that's used why to be, the screen was blank. Oh. Which used to be Steven's close-up, and now there's his close-up once again. I would prefer a blank screen, actually, yeah. to a close-up. Oh, Steven. I think, Steven. I think oh. we should end the show here. I know. Or you could just play with your action figure some Well, I was going to show you. I, I appreciate oh. attention to detail, and I'm very disappointed that if you look at this, he's wearing a pinstripe suit. Mm -hmm. And if you look at his suit jacket underneath, no oh, pinstriping. It's blank. Can it's we just, terrible. Can we just end on a shout-out to Ray King? Absolutely. I mean, Let's talk about yeah. Ray King. That's what I'm trying no, to no, get okay, to. For that's like, that's fair. Ray King just geez. received no, 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 no. a fantastic Let's honor. Toast to Ray King to Ray for King. 
earning the Oregon Entrepreneurs Network Individual Achievement Award, which is a long way of saying... I was just going to say he's an ama- Entrepreneur of the Year, but yeah, there you go. Which is uh, a really convoluted way of saying that he's a great boss. And mm-hmm. that there is. It's really cool At that Vision, you guys had chaos. him on before. And mm-hmm. that Congratulations I'm, to you, Ray. Yeah. Yes. Of and thank us. you for all the work that you've done. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, so cool stuff with About Us over there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm digging here, guys. No, Ray's, Ray's a great guy. We got to have him back on this. Sh- Absolutely. On this show. I think you should have him on. Yeah. And I think that now we've learned that Steven and Cammie can't have gin martinis together. Or any no. kind of ethyl alcohol. alcohol. At all. Ethyl alcohol. That's the name of it. If you look really? up it up if you in Wikipedia, the... it was just very specific. Wiki That's I'm sorry. Page. Yeah. I was trying to be specific so that we can avoid the situation. Any know. confusion? Yeah. Mm. Well, kids, <laughs> <laughs> I'm he, about ready to blow this popsicle. Quite kids? frankly, us kids, I think, okay. in this situation. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm playing the music and. Oh, the old. music is playing. Yep. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, everybody. It has been really great to have Stephen on, even though we couldn't end this properly. But that's okay. That's our own fault because we I actually, suck. I kind of like it better when we don't end it proper. I like no. kind of just goes off into the yep. never, never. Well, definitely, that's what was happening. That's my favorite. Even though I don't watch it, that's my favorite. We should shake out now that the credits are playing. Somewhere. Okay, wait. We shall have a drama nerd moment. Okay, shake it out. Oh, shake out. Oh. Who's <laughs> through you, Dr. Norman? No one's going to understand that. Unless they were drama geeks. They probably still won't understand <laughs> that because we're sitting down. But whatever. That's true. Oh, great. We could stand. Someone did your... hacked my account. Wonderful. Did they? The yeah. Oh, yeah. shoot. Yeah. And oh, darn. Gee. Wonderful. Brat bastards. Sorry. Yep. Wonderful. Anyway. So, hey, thank you, Stephen. This was fun. Yes, it was you, great thank to you have so you much. on. And everyone, thank you I so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. <laughs>